Hey guys, welcome to the art project for week two. I really miss you guys and I've been loving seeing all of the pictures that have been submitted. Um, happy Autism Awareness Month, um, super important month and um, I, it's, it's made me miss your children even more. Um, you miss their smiling faces, um, their very unfiltered comments and everything in between. Um, so today, to spread a little happiness, we are making some vision boards slash happiness boards, um, but it's going to be in the technique of a collage. Right, so you take a bunch of little pieces, put them together, and make um, one cohesive piece. Um, so for the older guys, I am calling it like a vision happiness board. I really want them to focus on cutting out pieces of you know, pictures of things that make them happy, things that inspire them. It can be um, your favorite kind of animal or your favorite activity or like a color or design that they really like or or something that represents a career that they want to um, look into. For the little guys, um, the biggest focus of this is going to be motor skills. So it's going to be, you know, that cutting and gluing um, of the collage. So. I mean, if they see things that they like and they want to cut out, by all means, let them. Um, and with some of them, you know, with, with whatever level of um, assistance or prompting they need, you know, you can do hand over hand cutting. Um, it can be as simple as if they know how to cut, just you rip out a page of a magazine or newspaper, hand it to them, and they can cut from that. Um, but yeah, so let's get started. I'm going to first show you the materials you need, and then I'm going to show you some of the pieces that I cut out. And then I'll show you my finished collage. So number one, you're going to need magazines. You're going to just or newspapers or anything with like little pictures on it. Um, they can just flip through and find some stuff that they like. Number two, glue. Um, you're going to need some glue to glue it on a piece of paper, which leads me to material number three, a piece of paper. You can use cardstock. I have cardstock here. You can use construction paper. You can use even a piece of cardboard, like um, you can cut out a panel of like a cardboard box or something. Um, you can use scrapbook paper, which scrapbook paper in itself is really awesome to cut out and collage because you can mix a bunch of the um, colors and designs. And then lastly, Scissors. Alright, so with scissors, I mean a lot of you, a lot of the older guys, um, they are perfectly fine to cut stuff out on their own. For some of the little ones, um, you or some of the ones that um, get a little um, overly excited when using scissors, because <laughs> there's a few of those, um, they might need some help or they might need some assistance or just monitoring with scissors. You know, obviously you know it's best, so scissors. So I will show you some of the pieces that I cut out. And then um, I'll show you my finished product. Alright, so number one is the uh, pieces of candy. I picked it out because A, I have a sweet tooth. B, I really like the colors, like the bright rainbow and the pink. Um, two, I have this picture of like a really, can't really see, this like cutely decorated office area. Um, I'm doing that now because I'm working from home like most people and I want to have like a nice office area. Um, okay, we're back in focus. Number three, I have these like cute little lips. They were like from a lipstick ad or something. Thought it was really cute, like the colors. This is kind of like some plants over a wall. Um, again, I like the colors and the design. Um, these are like close-ups of like city buildings. Um, I'm moving to Chicago in August which is really fun and exciting, so I kind of wanted something with like a city in there. Next is this little coffee mug thing. Um, I really like coffee, and right now I definitely need that little extra motivation. Um, and then lastly, I have <laughs> Timothy Chalamet, who is um, one of my celebrity crushes, and also an extremely talented actor, so he was, I was like, why not? Um, so yeah, but you guys, um, I want to see what pieces you cut out, what things you like, what colors you enjoyed in the magazines. Um, did you cut out pictures of dogs? Did you cut out pictures of your favorite movie characters? Did you cut out pictures of cars you really like? Did you cut out pictures of 
um, a, so a stethoscope or something because you want to be a doctor. I don't know. Show me what you cut out. Show me what your vision and happiness board looks like. Um, I'm going to now glue these pieces in like a different design um, on the paper. You know, with this, get creative. Um, you can cut some pieces in a square shape and you can cut some pieces in kind of the more outline like um, his like head is cut out you know following the outline of his head um, you can overlap you can turn upside down you can turn sideways you know whatever you think looks best so show me your results and I'll show you my results so give me one second drum roll please Alright, so here is my finished collage. Let me zoom in. So yeah, um, I really love color and textures. So I got lots of um, different colors and different shapes. So you have like straight lines and you have curved lines. Um, you kind of have more muted areas, really colorful areas. Um, light color, dark color. So yeah, you could really play around with things that you find in a magazine or newspaper um, and really experiment with that kind of stuff. And like I said, you can kind of like overlap some of the pieces. You can cut them out square, you can cut them out curved, you can even hang a little off the page because I have a little straw hanging off the page. Um, so yeah, get creative and you can hang it up. And if you're feeling sad or uninspired or like you need a little pick-me-up, then you can look at your vision or um, happiness board. And yeah, so like I said, for the little ones, um, really just focus on the motor skills used to make it. Focus on just the idea of collage and what a collage is. Um, but yeah, you can even use like other media that you find. Um, you can go outside and collect leaves. We've done that before where they make um, a collage from natural materials. So if you have like little sticks or leaves or flowers, um, pressed flower collages are super pretty. I just don't have any flowers around me, unfortunately. So yeah, get creative. Um, so show me your collage and I can't wait to see the results. Um, yeah, you guys have a great weekend. Um, again, I really miss you all. Please take care. Please stay safe. Please stay inside if you can. Uh, we'll get through this together. So bye. Miss Elizabeth really loves and misses you all so much.